White House political director, Matt Schlapp. Good to have you all here, Matt. Uh, this is uh, a disaster on the border. Uh, it is a disaster, most Republicans certainly believe, that is of the president's own creation. Why should Congress give him a $3.7 billion supplemental? Well, they shouldn't. I mean, government does not have a revenue problem. Government has a spending problem. If, this, if, if more money is needed on the border, then the president should find other parts of government, other departments that have excess capital, and he ought to ask Congress right. to reprogram those funds. And if we're going to spend more money, we ought to pay for it, and we ought to remember we have a huge debt. The one good thing that's come out of this, I think, is that people are realizing that the type of comprehensive immigration refer reform that was contemplated earlier, you can put a fork in it, it's dead. Yeah. And by the way, all of these pictures of this disaster, Michael, this is amnesty. Uh, this is something that the, all of the critics of uh, the G8 and amnesty have been trying for years. The president delivered to the American people the images right. of what amnesty really means. Right. And, and they came because they believed they would get amnesty. I mean, this is not an they ordinary They believe the president's flow. words. And, and that's right. And, and that's why I don't buy the problem that this is the 2008 law. That The New York Times came up with that to defend the Obama sure. administration. George Bush did it. It's always George Bush's yeah. fault. This president sent the signal. that not, That's why it didn't change right. until 2013 and 2014. It's something this president did, and now he wants to slough it off on Specifically, Republicans. Specifically, the 2012 uh, executive action yes. in which that's right. he, uh, he deferred deportation for two years for illegal children. Uh, let's turn that's now right. to, if we may, to Israel. Uh, I, can, I have to say to you, I cannot believe how constrained the government of Israel has been. Right. We're talking hundreds of rockets. Uh, as, as, uh, as Ambassador Dermer said, it would be the equivalent of 200 million Americans right. in, in shelters. Right. It's, it's a striking uh, image. Uh, and, and it's not just the same old rockets now. The range is greater. Don't forget, Israel is such a small country. I, I believe, as you seem to allude, that there, there will be a ground invasion. And I think that Israel cannot tolerate this kind of weaponry. So it's got to go in and get the weaponry and crush Hamas right now. And don't forget, the one thing I'm not clear on is whether Hamas is able to restock its supply. It's been cut off by Egypt. That's, that's yeah. a big change. Well, Ambassador Dermer says, uh, and he knows, uh, that they have a, a, an inventory, an arsenal of some 10,000 right. of these. Uh, Matt, your thoughts here uh, as we conclude. We've got about 30 seconds. It's a, it's a horribly unsafe world. Terrorism is on the move again, and this is a time for presidential leadership. I'll stand up and applaud the president if he'll take on these folks, and I just don't see it. All right. Matt Schlapp, thanks for being with us. Michael Goodwin, thank you. And we appreciate you being with us here tonight. Coming up here tomorrow, former Assistant Defense Secretary Paul Wolfowitz, uh, former Arkansas Governor, presidential candidate Mike Huckabee joins us. Thank you.